Well, it was great to see these three Americans. I'm relieved that they are going to be reunited with their families. It's a testament to President Trump and his administration and the pressure that they've been putting on North Korea. I think it's important to remember that North Korea does have a history of joining uh, or entering into these talks, um, but while also extracting, uh, you know, more. Uh, commitment to, you know, they just continue to build their nuclear program out. So I think we need to just keep the pressure on them. Congress has been keeping the pressure on them, too. We've increased sanctions on North Korea that uh, have contributed to, I think, getting North Korea to the table. Uh, but don't let talks fool us. Uh, you, know, you know, they like to delay and they like to make sure that they, they have their own goals, too. Uh, President Trump himself was asked if this is going to be one of the uh, biggest accomplishments of his administration. He said the big accomplishment is going to be is if we are actually able to denuclearize North Korea. And you just alluded to that yourself. What do you think the odds are? What, what, what are your hopes as we, we come into these historic meetings? Well, clearly this has been an about face by North Korea. And I am encouraged, as I said, this is a testament to President Trump, his administration, their leadership and the pressure that they've been putting on North Korea. I'm encouraged that we are entering uh, into these talks. Uh, this is part of getting us to where we want to be. What we, we need to go into it with eyes wide open. Uh, you are the conference chair for the Republicans. You've heard the comments that Na Nancy Pelosi has made that if the Democrats take control of the House again, you can expect a tax hike. First of all, what are the odds? What do you see right now? And I realize you're in a position of trying to uh, talk up what's happening, but give us right. your honest assessment of where things stand well, for November. Uh, Clearly, the, the uh, Americans are going to have a choice this fall. Uh, uh, Nancy Pelosi, who has made it clear that she's campaigning for speaker, has said that she would lead by raising taxes. We have reduced taxes on individuals, on families, on small businesses. We're seeing the impact on our economic uh, growth. Uh, we are very encouraged with the numbers. Lowest unemployment rates now, 3.9% since 2000. Uh, bar, uh, business startups, the confidence, uh, biz, uh, consumer confidence, individuals, families, small businesses. You know, that is what is leading to this investment. We want to keep it going because this is about improving people's lives. Americans are benefiting because of tax relief that we passed this Congress and we're seeing it in the economy. And that is our goal to keep that going. Con Congresswoman, let's, let's talk a little bit about uh, Michael Cohen and what we've heard over the last two days about companies who have said that they paid money to, to Michael Cohen on the understanding that they were going to have a better understanding of what happened behind the scenes or how to better understand the Trump administration. Um, I know it's not unusual practice that many of these companies say they do this for every new administration that comes in. Uh, but you get a little closer look at it, and it can make people feel pretty uncomfortable about what they are paying for, what kind of access, and, and how the lobbying industry works in Washington. What, what are your thoughts on what you've heard so far around this? Well, I, as members of Congress, I think we uh, we need to make sure that you know we uh, are are instilling the rule of law and that no one's above the law. Uh, I think th there needs to be transparency when there's contributions made. I believe that transparency is one of the best disinfectants, uh, the sunlight on what's actually going on. And that's what we need to be seeking in all of this so that Americans know uh, where the money is and, and, and that there's transparency when, uh, whether it's lobbyists or corporations that are making contributions, I think for campaign finance, uh, the key is transparency, and there's too many there's too many dollars right now that do, we do not know uh, how they flow. In so, this particular instance, though, are you disturbed that the president's own lawyer is involved in this? Well, we need to we need to get the facts. We need to make sure that we understand exactly what happened. I, I've seen some of the allegations, but that's going to be our responsibility now. You bring up a fair point that. There seems to be a lot of money sloshing around that is not accounted for in the current system and, and how rules and laws are set up at this point. What, what would you like to see change? What do you think would fix that? Well, I, I have long said that we need to have transparency. Uh, as a member of Congress, you know, we, we have to file quarterly, you know, every, everybody who contributes to our campaign. We do not accept any corporate dollars. It's only individual dollars. Uh, but even filing quarterly. In today's world, I think that we could file on a more regular basis, perhaps monthly or even more regularly. And, and anything that we can be doing to provide that transparency so Americans actually know who's contributing to who, uh, I think that's going to benefit all of us. What, uh, what do you think, now that the president has announced that the United States will be pulling out of the Iranian deal, the Iranian nuclear deal, what, what comes next? Should we feel less safe in this environment, or is there a new uh, sort of framework that can be put forward 
to try and rein in some of what Iran has been doing. Well, this was a flawed deal from the very beginning, uh, and it, it was not a deal that we, I ever supported. I never felt confident that this was going to ensure that Iran would not develop or uh, move forward with a, a nuclear program. I applaud the president for his bold leadership. Uh, this is to make sure that America is safe and secure, our allies, especially our allies Israel. And I am I'm in, I'm pleased that he made this decision, and I encourage our European allies to join us in getting Iran to the table so that we can actually uh, make sure that we have inspectors in place and that we have confidence that they are not moving forward in developing a nuclear program. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.